And what happens to all that scratched and scuffed up booklets and everything? <laughs> they go in the garbage! That's right, you're supporting the, the world. And the world being polluted with all these CDs and booklets from the CDs. Hey everyone, welcome to another fantastic, wonderful arguing episode. We're the host, my name is MJ. My name is Adam. And today everyone, it's a debate! Ooh! Another wonderful debate, everyone enjoys it, me and Adam included. Today we will be debating about what's better, CDs or digital music. Oh! Not electronic music, uh, digital music that you can download or mm. possibly stream. Yes. I don't know, but what I do know is that me and Adam are going head to head I will be taking the side of CDs are better. And I will be taking the side of digital music is better. Yes, and how this works is we each get one minute at the very beginning mm -hmm. to give our first statements, and then we get a minute after that to give our rebuttals. All right. And then everyone watching at home, you get to decide in the descriptions down below who you thought had the better argument, and then you can even also say what you personally feel about the subject. Yeah. So let's just... Go right into it. Kick it off. Uh, who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. Here we go. Canada. All right. Rock, Rock paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, snip, man. snip. Adam, you can go first, sir. All right, sir. I have one minute. Up on the clock. And multiple points. So let me run and gun through these. Here we go. I'm ready. Why digital music is better right. in three, two, one, debate. Okay, first point, simply put, Every time you get digital music, you have all the music at your fingertips. There's no need to go to a store. There's no need to go outside. You can just look on your phone and, and search in the search bar what you want to listen to. Everything's right there. Second thing, if you buy a lot of CDs, it can be really expensive. But for one simple low cost flat fee of just $9.99, you can get any CD you want. All of them. All of them. All across the world. Any language you like. And next thing, most of their artists, if you want to talk about support, supporting your artists, they make most of their sales, not from the CDs they do, but from the concerts they perform at. So if you want to support them, go to the concerts and just stream their music. It's a lot easier. And next thing you want to say, I want to say is that CDs take up space. You want to go out and buy a shelf just to house all of your CDs when your, your space is probably too small. You want to take up space with a bookshelf of CDs? No, of course not. <laughs> what? Very nice, very nice. A lot of good points stated about why digital music is good. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to switch the tables. Yes. And I'm going to be talking about why CDs, physical CDs are good okay. nowadays. Here we go. Ready? One minute on the clock. In three, two, one, go. When you buy a CD, mm -hmm. you are not only supporting the record label that hired and signed that band to give them an opportunity to grow as an artist. You're not just getting, you know, giving them that support, but you're getting a piece of art, all right? Music is, guess what? Art, and it's not just for your ears. It can be a multi-sensual experience. How, you ask? By opening up an actual CD that has a beautiful cover that a real artist, real photographer or graphic designer worked on to make it. And then you can open up the booklet and it can take you on this story of the theme of what kind of atmosphere you should be feeling or feelings you should have when you're listening to the music. It's not just just listening, guys. It's like sit down and look and experience the whole thing. Another thing you can do with this music is you can commit to the music because if you buy a CD, you're going to commit to listen to the whole album front to back. No just hit singles. Let me listen. Very nice. Very nice. Some of those points really hit home as well because I kind of feel it. Uh, okay, I understand okay. the situation. But I still disagree with you, sir. <laughs> and I'll Ooh. tell you why in my rebuttal. Here we go. Okay. Rebuttals coming up. Mm -hmm. Adam's turn. He gets one minute. And you ready? Yes. Here we go. Ready. Three, two, one, rebuttal. So of course you do want to support the record label and support the artist, but some record labels, especially the bigger ones, they take way too much above their top just to provide that support to the artist. And the artist doesn't really end up getting that much for their CD sales. And they have all these loopholes in the contracts that the 
Artists just want to make art, like you said. And one thing about art is, if you're looking at it, it's fine. But when you're experiencing it and using it and touching it and getting your oily fingers all over it and putting CDs in and out of CD players, you know, that stuff gets degraded and CDs get scratched. And what happens to all that scratched and scuffed up booklets and everything? <laughs> they go in the garbage. That's right. You're supporting the, the world and the world being polluted with all these CDs and booklets from CD jackets and stuff like that that oh. end up being degraded and Whoa. going in the garbage. Whoa. My other thing I want to talk about is uh, the committing to music. You can just listen to the whole CD on the digital platform as well. All right. I like that. <laughs> you came up with some wacky curveballs. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That is, yeah, you come up with a lot, a lot of good points. Uh, but now it's my turn. Now it's your turn. All right. Last statement that I will be giving about why CDs are better. Mm. Let's see if I can get through this smoothly. Yeah. Here we go, everyone. One minute on the clock in three, two, one, go. You were talking about how you could just sign up and find music on this app very quickly. And it's such a convenient thing, but you know, nowadays you can also get CDs pretty conveniently instead of going to a store because actually there's not many music stores open anymore, but you can still get those CDs sent to you. You go on Amazon or something and you can buy a CD and get it sent to you. Guess what? Sometimes nowadays there are special editions for different stores. So here's an extra bonus thing. If you go on Rakuten, you can buy the CD with this kind of clear folder, but if you go on Amazon, you get it and it comes with a poster instead. So you have a choice or you can buy all of them and get even more stuff of your favorite artists. <laughs> okay, you're saying spend 99 for some streaming services and you can get all of the everything for such a low price. What happens when the well, the world falls apart and that's gone. Hey, I'm gonna still have my CD player and I'm gonna still have my CDs. What about you with your dead iPhone that has no power, no reception, no nothing? And that is that. Oh, if you yes. are new to our show and our debates, that's what happens. Yes. We can have them go head to head oh, over different topics. Yep. This time it was CDs mm. versus digital music. <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below who you thought had the better argument. Mm. But now, Adam, let's talk about openly yeah. how we feel about this subject. So I am definitely an advocate of digital. Uh, I use my iPhone a lot. This is not an advertisement and I'm in driving a lot. So a lot of the times I get the newest albums from the artists that I follow and okay. I want to hear their music like right away. And in Japan, sometimes those artists' CDs, their albums don't come or they're really expensive. They're like $30. Oh, okay, so okay. Uh, just that alone is it's very hard for me to buy a CD when I can just listen to it right away. Mm -hmm. um, however, since the whole digital age has happened, like I realized that when I used to buy CDs, like MJ was saying with the whole experience, I used to learn and be able to repeat like the lyrics of the album the full album, yeah. cover to cover, because yeah. I was walking with that CD jacket, looking at it and, you know, kind of singing along in my head or outside. Yeah. Uh, while I'm listening to the, the music, it was very, like you said, that experience of opening the jacket, opening the CD, taking out the inserts and just like, like you feel like you're connected to the artist. Yeah. Because you feel like they somehow touched that album. Right with their own hands yeah, like yeah. they touched everything so that feeling is definitely gone it feels like now although i'm consuming the music that i want to listen to it's like you go to mcdonald's and you can get anything on the menu and you get anything and then you eat it and you feel full but there's something missing mm. like you're not satisfied doesn't have that it doesn't have that mama's touch that mama's touch that yeah it's actual that the mom and pop shop love would have of love right so I don't learn the lyrics as, much, as quick as I usually did. Yeah. And I just listen to the music. I still feel something from the, the, the music because it is music. Right, right. You enjoy it still. That extra element is in there. Yeah. Yeah. For me, that's totally what it is. Like a hundred percent. Now it's probably our generation as well. Yeah. Like growing up, like that was the only choice. Right. But looking back on it, mm -hmm. I'm glad that it was the choice because it made 
me listen to one album. Like you, I had this much music, yeah. this much money. Yeah. Okay. You got to decide. I got to decide what album I'm gonna get. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is also you know just being a kid, mm-hmm. <laughs> not That's having true. a lot of money, That's job. True. But I would buy an album mm-hmm. and I would listen to that thing. Yeah. Like every day yeah. after I got it. Oh yeah. And I would learn it, like right. you said, front to back. Right. That might be the only CD you have for the next year, two yeah. years. Yeah. You know? For me, another big music mm. friend of mine, he pointed out how it's like these albums turned into like time capsules because oh. that was my summer album of right. like 2006 or something. Yeah. So when I listen to that, I remember the things that happened during that, that time, time because right. I listened to this album so much when all those things were happening. Right, right. I was like, man, so it's like, it's a time machine. Right, yeah. And I feel now when I download digital music, mm-hmm. I I don't have any streaming stuff because like it's, I want like very specific things. Right. And to pay for the whole package, like I'd rather put my money into the artist pocket because now like again with the with this age yeah everything's digital yeah you can go on itunes mm-hmm. but hey guess what you can also go on this thing called Bandcamp, right yeah. which is connected directly to, to the artist the artist right. so they are getting like 100 percent of that money right instead of itunes so yeah. if you guys really want to support your artists find if there's a separate website that is connected directly to them so mm-hmm. they can get like 100 percent proceeds everything all the money right goes to them definitely do that but even still like when i download something it's like like oh here's this new band like oh dude they have like three albums that i don't know about from their past mm. and they're all like just eight bucks because it's a digital download right. let me just get them all now right right and then you don't listen to them i don't listen ah uh, i have all of them yeah so i don't spend one like a lot of time on one like really getting into it yeah and learning it and right understanding it before moving on to the next right so I feel like if you had a subscription, like mm. that would be even worse. In At a least way, in my case, how I listen to music. For me, I tend to stick to the music that I like. Yep. Even though I have, you know, you in the cookie store and there's like a bajillion cookies. Yeah. But you only want chocolate chip. Yeah. But you're paying to enter the cookie store. Yeah. yeah. You can eat anything you want, but all you want is chocolate chip. Just, just and that's what I'm, I'm doing. So every month I, I pretty much listen to the same set of albums yeah even though i'm paying for this service every month so i'm basically buying a cd every month to listen to one cd oh but the artist who i'm listening to doesn't get a hundred percent of that proceed right right however when new artists come along or if somebody says hey you should check out this band which i do often as well like other youtubers or other review sites yeah reviewed certain albums that i haven't heard yet or I might be interested in, mm. like, that is the option where I can just go find it, check it out, see if I like it, and not have to worry that if I don't like it, I already bought it and opened it, and I can't return it, which has happened before. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I'm totally, again, yeah, yeah I yeah. love CDs, CDs yeah. Uh, special edition, collector's mm. edition. Mm-hmm. I love having a collection of all my favorite music. So yeah. when friends come over, they'd be like, Mel, go CDs. I'm like, yeah, like, dude, what do you want? It's like, it's like I have like a, a, a pantry filled of like liquor, like special, <laughs> like sauce that sauce, you've never yeah. heard of. And yeah. I just want to show you all these different types. Right. But everyone like mm. this whole topic came out because we read this article on mm-hmm. Soda News 24. Yeah. They're awesome. The title is Japan overwhelmingly favors CDs to digital music. Right, yeah. Now, this is something I totally agree with because mm-hmm. I see that special edition things here in Japan, like everybody loves a special edition. Oh, version. yeah, for sure. You want that collector's version? So many people, I feel like, favor that and they want to have this collectible item that yeah. they're like, look at it. I got it. They only made 100 and I got, got one. It, yeah. Like, yeah. It's such a special feeling that you have zero of mm. with digital downloads. Right. Now, if you're a, a longtime fan and follower, you understand that I'm into Japanese idol music. Right. In that whole world, they like don't live off cds but cds are a huge thing singles are a huge way Mm. to make money right having different packaging for the same single Mm -hmm. so fans can buy more of them so then in turn it's like like i don't know how i feel about it because it's just the records company just making more money right right off of them but it also makes the experience like more personal true because now you have like this choice like your favorite yeah yeah yeah. so you get the cover with that one Mm -hmm. or they have like tickets inside of them ah 
And it's like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, which, yeah. <laughs> which chocolate bar has that golden ticket. And then that excitement when you, if you get one that has that golden <laughs> ticket, is like, you're, you're ecstatic. You're yeah. so excited. So that is something that is still like big here in Japan mm. and kind of is in a way still alive in overseas, like vinyl. Oh, yes. is making um, a comeback. Making a comeback. Dude, yeah. tapes, tapes. People are getting back into tapes. I've recently seen... Mm-hmm. A track, wow! Cassettes being wow. sold here in America, wow! Of like indie, like indie bands. I'm, su- I su- going I'm, back. I'm surprised they still exist. I can't believe people have players, right? Yeah, but it's all going back. It's retro. It's a cycle. It's mm, a circle of the life. Ten year cycle. Everything comes back. Yeah. So don't just get rid of your kinky kid CDs now, <laughs> because hey, guess what? They're doing a comeback. Yep. Wait for it. <laughs> that's it for this episode hopefully you all had a good time again go down in the comments vote for who you thought had the best argument Mm. and also tell us your personal feelings do you like to buy cds yeah or do you like to download digital albums or even just download just the hot tracks from a few artists so you get just a bunch of singles who knows let us know hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course check us out on sns we got twitter we got tiktok instagram and facebook as well so if you want to message us just go on one of those channels and say hey mj adam what's up that's it we'll see you on, on the, the next, next step, step.